Hey everyone, welcome to Bourbon Over Baseball. I'm Jeff, it's been a bit. We're gonna play through a game. I'm gonna cut right to the chase. I've got Kevin S here as well. Um, yeah, are we gonna roll some dice, Kevin? We're re I'm ready. So I'm I guess ready. I'm, 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 it's been a showdown Sunday for me. It's showdown Sunday morning. If I have coffee in my hand and I'm rolling dice, no matter how bad they are, <laughs> I'm in a good place. So, so I'm already, I'm already having fun. Um, the NPP, NPB said, um, I guess in the quickest way possible, walk us through what you've been doing here for the past couple of years now with the, with this league. Yeah. So, um, basically took the templates that, uh, the guys had made, Bob, Matt R, uh, Peter, and just sort of ran with them, um, have made sets for the 2020 season, uh, and then went back and made it for the 2019 season. And now, Obviously, this is the 2021 season. So, yeah, this is a fun pitching matchup today. We have uh, the best player, definitely the best pitcher, probably the best overall player in yeah. Japan, Yoshinobu uh, Yamamoto. He's like, I can't remember how old he is. He's in his early 20s. He's killing it. Probably will come to America within the next few years. I don't know. Depends right. on if. <laughs> right? Yeah, I, I would mean, hope so. He's good enough. It's just kind of a matter of like, you know, will Oryx let him out of his contract? So they're under control for seven years. Yeah. Um, but like you can get out early. It's, it's the whole thing. So we'll see. And then obviously the other, your pitcher is Nick Martinez, who's, uh, I, he, I think he pitched in the big leagues. I'm trying to remember how much he pitched in the big leagues, but he's not, uh, he's obviously not Japanese. Um, Right. He it's, had a great. I, I think he has. I think I'm going to check, but I think he has. Yeah, but he had a great season. He, he was easily the second best pitcher last year. So it's kind of a fun one two matchup. No, that's awesome. I mean, it looks like he was with the Rangers for, for a couple of few years, like in 20, which makes sense because I remember back in like our 2014 15 sets, which were very early and they were very rough. I remember seeing his name. Um, and then I think he's been. He's been over in Japan. It looks like the past three years. So yeah, um, yeah. This is I. This is a wild. Like the really the MPP set is a wild set. Um, it's less players, you know. So it's like two hundred and twenty cards total. Um, yeah, thereabouts. Yeah, per season, and we've been drafting usually six teams. Um, this set in particular was pretty wild because there was not much hitting. So hitting no. was a premium. There was all good pitching. It sounds like the MLB, but it was just smaller sample size, you know, of less good hitting. So there was a run on good hitting immediately. Um, and then like you and I were filling in gaps towards the end and just happened to just have, I mean, you took, you took Yamamoto pretty early, but I think Nick, I just kind of said, I think I can make it work. And uh, I just said, I'll take a 700 point starter. Um, but, yeah, I was I was planning on Yamamoto from the beginning. I, he was on my last two teams, and I knew I wanted him. Um, and I was like, I don't know. These these leagues are also kind of fun to try some new things. I'm like, I don't know if I'd want to spend 800 on a starter in maybe a more competitive league. But I was like, let's see how it goes in this league, and maybe that will change my thinking. Yeah. Um, one of the other amazing things that I have to shout out, which I don't think I have one, Um maybe if you have them quickly, but you introduced with this set kind of the concept of a defense and speed only player. Got one so, right here. Oh, uh, there we, I got to see it. Okay. I'm going to bring it up on the screen. So love it. Love it so much. They have no on base. They have no chart. All, all pitch or all swings are on the pitches chart. Always. It kind of almost mirrors what we did with 2001 NL right where you the pitchers would always be pitting on the pitcher chart but the right. difference here is that these guys are have are fast and um also have some pretty solid defense so um i love these from the start i'm surprised i didn't end up with one but um you know i th i figured you know if it's a difference if it's the same cost i might as well get a guy that has a chart but right um, man yeah it's it's an awesome little wrinkle so yeah they've been um it's just a, it's sort of a unique thing for uh, Japan is like they have a, almost every team had at least one guy where I was like, why do they have so many games played and so few at bats? And yeah, they just bring them in to pinch run and play defense. And so it kind of worked out nicely. I think there's like 
six or so, maybe around there of those guys. Yeah. So, yeah. Dude, but for 10 points, like this guy does, I always talk about like they, you know, for certain number of points, especially if you're spending a lot, like, you know, if you're spending 500 points, I want to, I want a lead off guy that can play defense that has, you know, high speed that can also hit. Right. Um, this is the inverse, right. Where you're spending 10 points and it's like, but you're getting two things. Like you're getting two very distinct, good things with a, in this case, like great outfield defense and then, you know, supreme speed and for 10 points, right. Like I mean, most 10 pointers are actually useless, right. Like utterly useless. Yeah. And this is like, this is the opposite of that. So it's funny. Um, so now I'm through, I think for Peter's team, I think I'm through 13 games. So he has one of these guys starting in his lineup. Um, and they have two hits on the season. That's it. They have no walks, which mathematically almost doesn't make sense. Cause like he's facing enough guys. Like, I don't know. It doesn't make sense how low he's on base. Like he's like, so I think he's like, like two for 50. It's just crazy. It's like, how is that possible? Like, even on the pitcher's chart, you should have more hits and walks than two. Right. Let's take control and all that out of this. At the end of the day, if it's a if it's a out through 16, let's say, then that means out of 50 times, you should be getting on base like like 10 times, like like right. eight to 10 times. And it's like, yeah. And like and then it's so tough because then we use that as like anecdotes to be like, these guys can't hit. They're awful. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, dude, let's uh, you want to roll some dice? Yeah, yeah. All right, so you're home. Uh, uh, yeah, you're home. I'm, uh, All I'm right. and then I'll, I'm going to be keeping score. So for anyone listening, give me a second if I'm taking a second. So, Are you ready? Like, is it a, a, a Eugene uh, Ogino? Thanks yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Ogino, maybe. Ogino. Oh, it might be Ogino. Yeah. That makes sense. Takashi. God, that's this card is just my favorite. Um, yeah, I, I I really like it. Just visually too, it's just like great. What's his? Does he have the high K range? Um, one to seven. Just, just seven. So that's on you. All right. Let's go, Maury. Oh, 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 man! <laughs> what? <laughs> I forgot what it's like when the physics aren't turned up. Of like this die just floats. So I this is one of my favorite cards, the Martin card. Oh my God! It's, or Martine. It's, yeah, this is a uh, just of an. I mean, the ultimate. I feel like this is like my ultimate card. Um, yeah, the double at thirteen though. That that's just that's crazy. Um, pop up. Ooh. Ooh. All right. So this, this guy for me has been like my best hitter by far. And it's like, I don't know how it's happening. I mean, I'm happy about it, but like, hey, he's, I think he, he has seven home runs through 12 games. I'm like, how exactly? But okay. <laughs> five to 13. I mean, again, it's my dream. Five to 13 walk, right? Um, but he's like, not even, yeah, that's a, I guess you don't, you don't have a ton of speed. So it's tough. Um, it's just, it looks like, uh, show me. Oh, and then you have the, I guess the second half is a little, uh, well, you only got the one speed day. I forgot the variable speed thing throws me off. We haven't done that in so long now. It's one of my favorite things of the set is like the variable speed. Cause there are times that I'm like, you get home with the speed C and it's by one because they're 11 instead of 10. And it's like, oh man, <laughs> yeah, in the old I'm showdown, crazy. I'd be thrown out at home. Exactly. I kind of, like, with the bot and everything. I, I almost kind of, I know that, uh, I know that Gula has been trying to figure out a way to bring that in. And I, I almost feel like whether it's like a setting on the bot, like you can be like, give me like, like toggle something. Yeah, yeah. Just like, I, okay. I want to kind of just adjust, but like that also has like implications of, of points too. Um, right. So it's tough, but, but I feel like you could probably toy with it some way, but maybe it's just simpler to, I've kind of gotten used to it. I've got with 2001, I've gotten so used to, you know, Pop, one is a not a strikeout and you know the speed is just the same so that's one yeah. thing i know it's such a stupid thing but i like the strikeouts being the first thing on the chart because yeah. to me that's like the worst result for a batter's a strikeout so that should be first anyway 
<laughs> I totally agree. I've gotten so you, I, I, but I like, I have just played 2001 so much that I've just kind of forgotten. Like, yeah, when he, I rolled a one on yours, I like, I just started filling out like, like just an out. And then I was like, <laughs> oh, wait, this okay. <laughs> like, I look at the K range, I forget. So it's so much easier just knowing, oh, through six, strikeout. But instead, it's like in 2001, it's like three to nine is a strikeout. So, right. And that's the other thing is I really like in my, like I'm not great at mental math, so it's like really convenient. Like oh, one through six, that's a it's a good K range. One through yeah. four, not. Where I'm like two through five, like what? I'm like that's not. Yeah, I can't figure this out. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see Nick do it. That's 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 not doing it. There's this little walk. There's this walk. It's like I wanted that to happen. All right. Oh, this is this is bad. Don't love this. Single plus. Uh, single plus. So your outfield's good. So I don't think I'm not going to go. Just a single. What's a, are, are you doing the plus three or the automatic? Uh, I, I did the automatic just to match the league. Yeah. So I think so far that's been, I think, a good rule change. You know? Yeah. Um, especially because there's so many guys in that set with single pluses that are not speed A. Yeah. And catcher arms are really high in that also that's that's kind of the i was talking about that literally in my last game uh i played this morning and um it's yeah like when the average catcher arm i think is like around eight and it's like you're even with the plus three like you got and like you said speed b is like what an eight versus a, an eight arm or an 18 versus an eight arm that's that's you're not going to do it right yeah, like not, they're not just good... they're almost yeah they're almost being penalized for having a single plus in that in yep. that case which don't love that so all right, let's let's not give you the advantage here. It'll be super chill, or just roll a one. So. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Um. All right, let's see it. Dinger. <laughs> Man, Nick Martinez. Well, that's game. Been, <laughs> that's game. Nick Martinez has been killed by the dingers so far this season. What is happening? That 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 is three. He has a control six that just gave up the advantage three times in a row. Oh man, we gotta you gotta lock down the rest of this game. There's one. So there we go. Is that is that to you? Yeah, it uh, is. Oh my god. That's a single. Uh, I'll steal. What is my catcher? Four. Four. Yeah, he's bad. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. Some base. But now you have the advantage against the rest of my lineup. So it's all on your chart from here. <laughs> Dude, I am uh what what what's uh yeah, I was gonna say, like do I I mean it doesn't matter, I don't need to intentionally walk because I know I'm gonna get it. Um yeah. all right, here we go. Oh my god, dude, you can't you can't roll two. There was the last game I was rolling two, 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 threes, and I'm like, this is this is torture. This is actual torture. But this is the good time to get him out of the way against the this part of the lineup. I guess is that that's oh <laughs> this is yeah we say that now like I don't love this so I just rolled my average roll in that half inning was very bad <laughs> so, yeah that was not that was not a good rolling streak oh my god all right all right here we go now this guy's You're been a, killing it for you yeah, Okajima single at five man that's that's awesome. It's yeah. It's a, I thought he would have gone earlier. Actually, I mean, he went pretty early in the draft, but that, it's on you. On me, yeah. Let's see this. <laughs> That's a fun card. A lot of outs, though. I'm a little worried. And 11. didn't get it on a single. What's a? Uh, he's not bad. Oop. Single. single. You want a bunch or anything? I, I was thinking about already? it. It's kind of tough. Uh, I mean, um, it, you're really, I, I kind of prefer not to here because you get two shots at rolling my chart. But then again, yeah. you get two runs. If you get, It's kind of a weird trade off here. But like, what's your outfield? Is it good? No, it's, it's only a plus two. Yeah, oh, I think you're right. Yeah, I, I would probably lean towards just doing it, but I think you're right. I think just, just give him the chance. K 
Okay. Uh, okay. I think with one, I mean, with no outs, obviously, it's a no brainer. But yeah, I would have done it. That, that. Good point. All right, let's uh, let's let's go, team. Let's have a better inning this time. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on, guys. Did I, did I, um, let me. Oh, I'm on the wrong chart. That makes a lot of sense. I was like, wait, wait, wait. Okay, there we go. Oh my God, dude, you can't stop, stop with the threes. It's not, not cute. Absolutely not cute. <laughs> this is, man, that's a great 50 point putt though. Single, three to 15 single. I love it. I, did, I mean, for me, I just want that plus eight arm. Like, that was kind of it. Oh, and he gets a little walk. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Five okay. strikeout. It's very likely those three runs are going to be the only score <laughs> the runs in this game, right? Like, <sighs> I mean, it's – I don't know. I – I don't know what it is with this set. I always seem to have like crazy results. Like aces don't perform like aces. I don't know. It's kind that's of all the over the place. That's the tough thing. Like that's why I have so much, I struggle with, like in this league, I just, I had the points. So I was like, let's go, right? All right, um, Takashi. Oh, don't do it. Oh. Um, it's so tough because like, um, Oh, I actually think I did. I get did uh did what's his name? Did Shudo get out? Yeah. Or no, he got out just, last inning. Yeah, it was just uh, he he I, ended the last inning with a so grounder or pop up. Yeah, gotcha. I didn't fill it in. Um. There we go. You rolled the ten there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's so tough because there's a certain point when you're like you're spending seven hundred points on a pitcher. But then if they're getting like blown up, and I know it's small sample size, I get it. But it makes you just go like, well, why? <laughs> why am I, I doing know. this? Like at least if like like great reliever gets blown up, like at least it's like, okay, they're done. I'm pulling them, right? Like um, I think I've like over time now gotten far closer to like bad starters. Like what, in, in the 2020 league, my total starter salary was I believe 270 for all four. I, I think I had a, I think it was a 220, a 30 and two tens. And like that team was pretty good. Again, I had Jesse Hahn and Nick Anderson in the, um, in the, uh, in the bullpen. So that was, that was fun, but, and it ta definitely takes more mental effort to like have to manage that. Um, well, I feel like the way the rules are now, it makes sense to invest heavily in the bullpen. Mm -hmm. It just does. I mean, it, I you, if we adjusted the rules, maybe that doesn't make as much sense. And maybe you do want a stronger starting rotation, but. Yeah. So we've tried what well, we've tried to adjust those so much and it just finding that balance between like not making it like insufferable to track during games. Right. But also, but also like, you know, trying to get it really like, that's kind of the, where we are right now. It's like, I think that's yeah. the, it's not perfect. But I think it's the best balance we've probably had. Um, and using the bot, the bullpen arms are, I think, much more appropriately priced. So, yeah. like, yeah. Um, like, for example, I mean, Casey Sattler is a – he's in uh, control five out through 18. Um, he has 360 points. Jesse Hahn in 2020 said, and this is like not, this is just, we were, you know, figuring out points and how they all matched up against each other. But um, we had Jesse Hahn, he was a control six out through 17. And he was, I think, 280, 260. I think, I think he was, he was either 270 or 280. Yeah. Yeah. I think at 280. And so, I, so like, yes, and I significant points, distance. And I match points with that set. And I'm now thinking to myself, maybe for the 2022, maybe I start to move the bullpen arms, maybe up 20 or 30 points across the board. Yeah, we'll it's almost it's almost like with the bot that it'd almost be fun to do like, like almost like a reverse card, where like in your case, you know, you you know what the chart is for the most part, right? Or at least you can fill in gaps there. And then it's like, you'd love the bot to basically spit out to you to say, 
it's this many points, right? Yeah, um, no, I would, I would love that feature. <laughs> yeah, like that's, yeah, that's an issue. Like that's, that's like kind of like, it's almost like, again, the bot like removed like the card uh, or the, uh, the card making, you know, uh, kind of uh, boundaries. But now it's like the next level, like I wanna make even more custom cards that kind of are outside the, the, the confines of what the bot is. So right. anyway, um, all right, let's, uh, let's see what else Nick can mess up here. So. Um, Single. Ooh, single. Uh, fly ball. I was going to say maybe he can move it to a grounder, but no. Okay. Strike out. Yeah, you're right. Now, now, like, now I'm going to have this whiplash of like thinking that a one and the two are strikeout. Like, um, <laughs> damn it. All right, we are so we're top four right now. Yep. Out. Whew. Almost twenty. These games go very fast when there's no scoring. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's true. Um, when I've had now two out of my four games in, in the 2021 league are, have gone to the extra innings and you, you know, scores are tied. Everyone's over really thinking their bullpens and it just makes the games, you know, our first game that went to extras went, was over an hour. Second game, three Oh game was like 25 minutes. It's like, dude, <laughs> just crazy, man. This Momoki uh, memory card is also a great 50 point option. Um, you know, you don't love the six outs, but at the same time, it's like, well, what's 50 points? What are you going to do? That's true. Yeah, I mean, I guess he gets it with the speed. I mean, that's, I would rather, I would probably trade for low point cards. I would trade on base points for outs on the chart. Like, I'd rather have an on base six that's like a one through six out than an on base five that's like one through four, you know? Yeah, that makes, yeah, for sure. I like guess just trying to capitalize on, on, on a moment. That'll probably never happen. Nick is a one through six. Yeah. Okay. Don't Oops. do it. Ah. Oh, but Wait. it is. It's on your chart, though. That's true. But you got so really, it's just maybe a chance of a single. Yeah, it's like a little. Yeah. Bit there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's an extra single chance. That's yeah, that's that's awesome. All right, here we go. All right. All right, top five. What? I don't same, think same thing though. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. It's just it's gonna be a, a hope at a at a single. Oh my god. That's, <laughs> that, that, that's 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 the only time probably this year I'm gonna see a mistake pitch 24. Um <laughs> that is awesome. Catcher, catcher is eight. Eight. Ooh, 13 or higher. Um yeah, but then I could sack and it's a lesser chance, but um might be i don't know i'm gonna i'm gonna keep them there and do a sack bunt i think that's probably what i would have done yeah, yeah it's tough like if, the, if this pitcher wasn't so good then i wouldn't do it i wouldn't do it right. that way so so not an eight or a nine. Oh, i did have a sack bunt out in the last game too that was fun <laughs> <laughs> I can't I, yeah don't roll one or two roll one and it rolls a one it's like you know this this game this showdown this fucking game right so right <laughs> Ooh, that's oh, a run. My God, a oh no, no. <laughs> oh man all right this is this is come on come on come on come on maury let's go bud 
Oh, oh dude. Oh. oh my god. Okay. All right. This is All right, this there's is... one run. So he got yeah, he definitely gets the run there. Um yeah. let me get that in. And yeah, I don't think there's really no advantage for me to send him to third. So no. I mean All you right. could go. Okay. It's yeah. That's true. You would just give it to uh, me. Oh, uh, got it by one. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Yeah. I mean that Woo. if that was a two, that's a three run homer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Gosh. Okay, so, you know, inch and back, bottom five. All right, here we that's go. That's what I'm telling you though, is like these aces just find ways to like those were against your two eight and nine hitter who are yeah. five on bases. It's like I don't Where, it just happens. Yeah. And then Jamie Berea in the twenty twenty one set has like he only pits I only put he's a control two out through sixteen. Got the advantage every time everybody's rolling low on his chart. I'm like, this is, I don't, this feels weird. It's just so, <laughs> it's like, I count this, like, it's funny. I just watched Moneyball again yesterday, right? Um, and like, one, great movie. Two, like, you know, Brad Pitt, I guess, is number two. Three, it's baseball, right? Like, um, and it's like, I feel like I get how baseball people, scouts, old-fashioned baseball, have, forever have been like, well, this is how you play the game. Because like, how can you not be like just like emotional and like about like moments and like l one game samples? You know what I mean? When you yeah. see it in person, right? Like, um, because of course it doesn't make sense statistically, but like you want to feel that way. Um, anyway, no, I, uh, yeah, I hear you. Here we go. Ooh, a single. Um, Boy, four versus 17. So what is that? Uh, 14 or higher. Yeah, I'll go. Call. Yeah, that's a good call. Oof, close. One base. Maybe steal one of those runs back from you. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. You gonna get my, him? my dude, what are you doing? Oh, oh. oh my gosh. All right, that's his second home run of the game. Yeah, both mistake oh. pitch home runs. Wow. Dude, I'm, that's the other thing that's been weird about this league so far is there has been so many multi-home run games from, like, you know, like individual batters, two home runs. I, I don't understand why it just happened that way. He's got to be on the – getting there to the single game. He's got to get more at bats, but I'm sure he's absolutely coming on that on that list. You know what I mean? The the top performer list, yeah. Yeah, Two Yuki's got to be five RBI, five RBIs, yeah. Yeah, all right, yeah, five runs, Nick. What are you doing, dude? So he's down to a six. All right, here we go. I feel like it's so funny. I was like doing the same. I was watching Moneyball, and I'm just like, as more like players are getting mentioned, I'm like, I'm gonna bring up their bot card. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> you know, I'm like I'm like, oh, I'm the scout in Moneyball. And I'm I'm Peter Brand. I'm Paul, Wait, I'm Paul that? D. Podesta. Oh was no, that, that was, was yeah. only two outs. Yeah. yeah, that was only two. Yeah, I'm like I'm Paul T. Podesta. You know, via Matt Gula in the bot, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> You know, it's because it's so funny. Like I've I've talked about this before. Like, and I think we all know it. It's not just me. Like. You know, I, I think it's just hilarious how Moneyball is just like, you know, oh, there we go. Um, you know, Chad Bradford, Scott Hatterberg, David Justice, right? All great. But, like, they never acknowledge that they have Tim Hudson, Barry Zito, Miguel Tejada, <laughs> Eric Schott. Yeah. It's like just these studs, these ultimate studs. I think Sam or Chad Bradford is, like, the probably best – example of like he he was really good that year like really really good um but uh i just i just love how and again maybe that's just the emotion of baseball it's just tell the narrative you want to tell you know um all right mistake pitch um let's try. see what he can yeah yeah there's a lot of singles but let's see oh it's oh, oh no i saw the 21 because <laughs> <laughs> there's not an oc uh not an oc ground ball though all right. Nope. Strikeout. Strikeout. 
man, both of us have rolled pretty low. Just a ton of three. And then I that's where I rolled a 19. I'm like, can get the fuck out of here. Um <laughs> All right. Bottom six. All right, bottom six. Um, I am still full strength. It's my last full inning, my last inning of full. God, when I can see it just hovering, the dice just hover, like doing that like an anti-roll where it just hovers yeah. on a number. All I want to do is just start bashing the R button with my, <laughs> my finger. Like, oh, I was, I was keeping rolling it. There we go. Maybe I need to do the double, the double roll, you know, the double touch. Okay. Well, he's, he's been on base twice. Let's see if we can make it three. Oh my Dude. gosh. <laughs> you just will. Yeah, I will bad things into existence. You will good things. So. He was two. He, so he's two for two with a walk now. That's so funny. But that's, I, yeah, I, these no, I don't know. But that's also like how has so basically Fushimi in this one game has more hits, more times on base than the Ueda, the null batter for Peter yeah. all season. And it's like just doesn't make doesn't, any sense. Doesn't make any sense, right? Uh nah. Strike out. Like, Oh man. Okay. I know it's so stupid, but I love striking out the side. Ah, oh, he got it. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. Especially the the own chart mistake pitch or the own chart K to to strike out the side is like the, <laughs> the, sh the chef's kiss, you know? Like, no. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. All right. We are tops or bottom seven. All right, now we do a fun little exercise of is Nick Martinez still the best pitcher I have? And I think he is. Um, so he's a 21. Technically, Matayoshi would be a higher tier. Yeah, it's just a matter of do you want to use him when you're down four runs? Right. I'm, a tough call. But you're also I facing if, the heart of my order. Well, that's that's the – I think given that he is just – we're talking like just slightly worse. Um, and technically – I, mean, I guess technically, five, uh, and, five and sixteen, Fujish no double. Yeah, Fujishima is also a better tier. Him and uh, I didn't realize him and uh, Matayoshi were the same, the same tier. Um, yeah, I mean, it's probably not the play to win move, but I feel like given that I'm down four runs, I need Nick to push it a little bit. So, um, I just got to put it in the in the uh, in the hands of the dice gods. So. Mm. Which almost worked out. Um, walk now. Do I steal again? Steal last steal, right? Uh, I'm gonna hold on to it, okay? Because uh, I'm gonna hold on to it just in case. But the, what about play, are... play to win, Kevin? Like, well, I mean, the odds aren't amazing <laughs> that I get there. Right? You, just, you just got so defensive in that moment, like, <laughs> <laughs> you're just double burning me on the other side. Um, no, I, I mean, I also think that's probably the right. I mean, you don't, you're up well, four. Like, you might as well save it for a position where you might hypothetically need it, which probably won't happen, you know? Yeah, just basically a more sure bet was kind of what yeah. I was looking for. Yeah. I mean, and yeah, I avoided Nick that, that 20 would have caught me. I know. Nick Martinez still at a five is uh, pretty awesome. Like, I like how we're like, oh, Nick Martinez down an IP. Like, what a nightmare. You're right. Another strikeout. Yeah. I also need your scoring advice on a on a weird one. Let me okay. look, let's finish this game and then remind yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it's I don't I don't really of course we had an unearned I think an unearned error run already happened which is fun um even with taking out the catcher error it was an actual in, like outfield error which I don't think I've ever seen an outfield error before um, really yeah it was a they, he had a he had a uh, um uh an outfield four. Oh shit uh single don't we're top that. eight right now right yep top eight man <sighs> no I just just you gotta roll a one or two. That would be super super cute. 
if you did. Or that. Strikeout. Strike out. Yeah, he had an outfield four. Um, and he, and we, we did raise the stakes. Like, I think it, it, we, we raised him last year to, instead of less than five, less than six. And he rolled a one. And so I was like, wow, this is the first time I think this has ever happened. And um, also it probably sounded like I was making up rules as we were going, you know, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, here we go. Man, you could get a, you could get a complete game here. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in my head. Cause I got, I got a, tier zero stud in the pen to close it out if I, if I need it. So I'm kind of like, well, if I go for the complete game. I'm going to keep him out of four. Ooh, now you're facing my... Ooh! Oh, that triple. my God. He got it. He got it. It's him. Let's, Let's see go it. for it. One to six out. Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Sorry, I shouldn't be cheering someone else's no, mistake no. pitch own chart, but I feel like I like need like need those moments back. God, that is we we literally could not have like talked that moment into happening. Right. You know, like <laughs> he, he's an equal amount triple than out on a mistake pitch. It don't matter. I think it's more actually. Yeah, it's an eighteen. He has seven chances for a triple and six chances for an out, and it just the dice don't care. So, God damn, man, this game. Oh, man, that's uh, – I just No, got it. is that still on you? Yeah. Yeah, because right. I'm a four, yeah. Right. Oh, oh my care. gosh. Well, Amazing. save the home run, though. Now, now I feel – oh, he's not fast. All right, let's see. Am I going to roll another two? Oh, maybe not. All right, just strike out. Finally got Fushimi out. I think next day is going to be over, but I also – well, well I would say I don't score, it won't matter. Yeah, if I don't score game's anything. over. You, yeah, I would say he's not pitching again because that means you either tied it up or took the lead. So yeah, all right, all right. let's see it. So he's the control four, right? Yep. All right, let's see if we can close it. Ooh, facing the good part of the lineup to have a lower control. Um, no, I don't think that matters. No. All right, Strike game out. over. Wow, what a what a game. All right, let's see these. Uh, let's see these lines. I'm gonna so pull then up Nick, my, uh... Nick went eight innings. Um, his game score was bad. It was forty six. Not good. Also, okay. this might actually be a good opportunity. I, I might. I would love to hear you talk through the. Uh, um, talk through the uh, the game score honestly i um i took it pretty much i want to say from espn's game score i don't know if it's exactly the same or if i maybe made slight modifications because i think they were tracking there might be like one stat that they're tracking that we don't have so i maybe took that out but it's pretty much um espn uh, they have a game score for pitching and I basically just took that. Like I originally had um, Bill James made the first game score, but that was a little bit too complicated. Like it was like, yeah, you get an extra, like for every inning after five innings, you get an extra however many points. And like, that was just, the formula was uh, way more complicated than the ESPN one. Damn, we could probably, we could probably, I now that I'm reading, I'm like looking at the actual, so it looks like it's really, it gives a lot of value for going deep right, for pitching a lot of innings, right, which makes sense. Um, K is a straight, and then it's minus, like, it gives you slight minus walks, slight minus four earned runs, which, you know, is fair. Um, a larger minus four, oh, no, earned runs is worse than the, uh, which one, I'm looking at the wrong one. Looks like, yeah, sure. hits and walks are equally weighted, and then earned runs is worse than both of those. And then the, the it looks like the killer is a home runs. Yeah, home runs really they really hammer you for that, which is kind of funny because even if you give up like two solo home runs, it's gonna hammer you because I guess in theory is you got kind of lucky that there was only one person on base or or nobody right. on base. Um, but 
Yeah, so that Yamamoto start was not was the second best start of the year. That moved him into uh, the tech, the second slot. Yeah. Behind Nick Martinez. <laughs> Dude, this is a weird game. All right, let me uh, let me actually get her. Go ahead, sorry. No, I was say right now the top five spots are you and me. We have, I have you have Martinez, and then I have two Yamamoto starts, and then you have uh, your fourth starter, the two and eighteen, and then you have your third starter, the five and fifteen, with a bunch of walks on his chart. So yeah, I'm a, I'm almost a little. I did almost. Uh, I kind of forgot I this uh, Shiguno car Chigano, um, two control out through nineteen. I have had my varied success with the control twos strategy I've been adopting. I just don't think it's, I don't think I feel strongly enough to like keep doing it. You know, um, it just they man, when you, when you get in the, we just had in that game, when you get in this flow where you're rolling threes and you don't think you can roll anything else, like that's kind of fine. If you're a control four, right. You can escape some charts, but not if you're a control two, right? Three yeah. puts you right in, right in. That's basically, you know, excusing on base four is like that's everybody's going to get the advantage against that. It can um, get ugly quick, but I, I don't know. I've kind of, I kind of like control twos. Assuming they got enough, you know, maybe they don't give up a double or maybe they have a really good ground ball range, something. But yeah, it's confusing because, like, I mean, we, we all evangelize Kerry Wood. Right, that 2001 card. We do the same with I think Blake Stein 2001. I think is a control two, uh, like I think it's like maybe 18 to 20 walk, something like that, or maybe single. Doesn't give up a double. I know that, but um, let me uh, let me give your let me get your. I'm gonna go through the scenario. So I'm just using these placer cards. You can tell me, mm-hmm. right? So um, single plus happens, right? So this happens, I want to open up second for the stolen base, right? Sure. So I send the runner at second to third on a on a fielding check, right? Uh-huh. The air throw happens then. Mm-hmm. So then he comes around and scores because it's the air yeah. throw, right? Yeah. And there's no stolen base, but he gets to second. Does yeah. that is still technically an unearned run? Or is it still an earned run because he got on base due to the, because of the pitcher? So it's kind of annoying. It's like, it really depends on what happens the rest of the inning. Let's say the next, let's say there were two outs, next guy strikes out, then it would be an unearned run. But let's say the next guy gets a hit, then it would be an earned run still. Uh, so it gets into like hypothetical territory almost, yeah. like what yeah. would have happened? Let me, let me see yeah. what actually ended up happening the rest of that, um, the rest of that. Let me see if opening up two of these Google Sheets is going to break my computer <laughs> while I'm while I'm having TTS and Zoom open. Um, so the next two, it went, yeah. The single happened that that was with no outs. The single happened. The single plus happened. The error. Uh, the air throw happened, and then there was right after two straight outs. But so that would be an unearned run. It would oh. be, but then like, but then there was another single on the with the oh. fifth batter. Okay, then it would, yeah, then it would say earned. It would say earned. Okay, yeah. interesting. Because so, I, 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 yeah, in theory, that single would have scored the runner on third. Yep. All right. So I'm going to go back and adjust that. There we go. All right. It's kind of, it's kind of stupid because like, you know, maybe the guy pitches that last batter way differently with the runner on third, all that sort of stuff, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, okay. I would I got time to play another one if you want to if you want to do I, the Sugano Let's keep game. going. Let's, yeah, let's do them both. Um so Sugano my he's my second starter? Yeah. Oh shit, yeah, let's go. I I was that's exciting that I get to play this through. Um all right, let me fill him in. And I got another scoreboard I can throw on the table to get rid of this one. Whoops. How many am I spawning? <laughs> and who, and you have, uh, are you pitching Verhagen? Yeah. Okay. The, the Flying Dutchman. I just assume that's his nickname. I don't actually know. <laughs> Where does that come oh, from? I don't know. I mean, I feel like everybody who's 
like Dutch gets the flying Dutchman nickname, right? That's true. <laughs> so I'm still the home team, actually, because the way I do it is a uh, well, two and two. In. I didn't fill in wins losses. This is a simple one because two pitchers pitched. That is a simple one. <laughs> that is the, probably the simplest win loss equation I've ever done. Um, you know, and the worst case scenario, like Martinez got blown up a little bit, but like at the same time, you totally reset your bullpen now. Like you're set really yeah. well for the series. It's like, yeah, yeah. he's expensive, kind of worth it in that way. Well, and like this is interesting because like this would be a game like heading into my third starter where I, I've seen other people do it with, you know, with our rules being pitch two games in a row out the third, or if you go over your set IP in one game out the second or out the next, um, that a lot of people do the one inning pitch, right? So like, this is actually a situation where like, hypothetically, like against your top guys, maybe I pitch, uh, you know, Fujishima or, you know, Matayoshi for one inning. Yeah. That way I know I can blow out their arms in the next game. It's kind of like a loophole that we absolutely know exists and, you know, people right, can exploit. Right. But I also kind of feel like, you know, Sagano is too good to probably need that. Like, let me see my other. And like, also, I have 480 point guys. Like, nobody's really bad, <laughs> you know. So, I think this is more traditionalized starter setup that it's just like just just pitch them as far as they can go comfortably. Do you want to stop this recording and then start a new one just so the file doesn't get too huge? I don't know how big oh, those files are. Uh, it's no. I think we'll just we'll just roll it and well. Okay. Let me, yeah, we'll just keep going. We'll just have it be one file. That way I can just upload it and say, here you go. So cool. All Are right. You ready? Here we go. The, the oh. battle. The <laughs> I was going to say the battle of the control, two, and then it's just instant one. Um, all right. Here we go. The chart filler. 10. Single. single. And your catcher is a eight. seven, eight, eight. eight. Yeah. Um, it's really right yeah. on that border, right? Doing it, doing All it, right. play to win, play to win. There we go. Hey. I should probably keep track of my stuff better. Still in base attempt. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, let me move my manager decision. Oh. What's okay. the, um, on the on, on this uh, Verhagen card, what is, um here, let me get the, the rollout, strike out. What is the marker on like their leg, on their, on their, on their pants there? Is that, a, is know, that I, a sponsor? I don't really know. I, I think it is. Um, That's really I'm interesting. Because sure. I, mean, I know there's there's another card where you can like, yeah, maybe I yeah, see uh, Fushimi. I'm not sure if that's a, the mascot or what that exactly is. What the heck? Like, yeah, that's, it's on a bunch of them. Uh, yeah, you could or go on my side, Suzuki. Uh, there's Rakuten. Um, You're right. And, that, yeah, and that's like the team owner that's the thing is like that most of the teams are like owned by corporations so like the the ham fight they're the nippon ham fighters so like nippon ham owns them which is like i don't know it'd be like the yankees being owned by like oscar meyer it'd be like the oscar that, meyer yankees that's really weird i don't like that <laughs> it makes me, that, make, that makes me feel really weird <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Oh. oh shit! Okay, walk. It matters. Oh no, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that saved oh, me wow. Um, for now at least. Um. Yeah, that that would be you know. Um. Oh shit, dude. Oh, oh you it's dead. grounder. You oh, and I think it, it. You probably have a solid outfield. Oh, my yeah, my infield. Oh. Did Did he still get it? I'm not. I'd have to look again. Let me check the sheet real. I think my infield's like an eight. So um, he probably got him. Yeah, my infield's an eight. So we get oh him by one. Oh my God. <laughs> That's OC horrible luck. DP. <laughs> one of the worst. So, um, we have two runners on. And, uh, that's brutal. And to lose, oh. and to get it by just one, too. Yeah. Damn. All right. This uh, I'm showing this Sagano card. Uh, Sagano, Which nobody has noticed. I fucked up on this card. There's no seven. <laughs> so oh, I, wow. I'm pretty, yeah, the seven is just supposed to be a pop up. Pop I'll have to reprint okay. this one, which annoys me. But oh, I see. Yeah. 
Um, if a seven I, I happens, noticed, though, I only noticed that last week. So that's funny. If a seven happens, I am going to actually contest this game outcome, just no matter what. <laughs> so I, I just, I don't, I don't know who is. I don't know if like you know Oscar Mayer or Sony owns the uh, the commissioner's office, but I'm gonna go to their offices. <laughs> so, um, all right. At least we, it wasn't uh, like a ground ball fly ball where there could be some contention on like runner yeah. movements, like pop up strikeouts. Right. Who really cares? matter. <laughs> right. Right. All right. Okay. Oh, right. Jesus, dude. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, no. Yeah, double. double. So, again, Sugano is leading the league in slugging percentage against him. So, he's not really given up a lot of home. He's giving up no home runs, very few doubles and triples. So, for what that's worth. This oh. game. Oh, my God, dude. Walk. Walk. This is, um, this is the same kind of the same start as last game. Playing with fire. Oh, oh my god. My. Oh my god. <laughs> At that moment in with the dice in the air, I was like, well, he's a 20. He only there's only one result that a, a, a scoring happens. Oh my god, that is brutal. I'm trying All to remember right. if I should go home here. Your outfield is a six. Let me see. Yeah, it's a six. So what? And I'm a seventeen. So it'd be uh, twelve or higher. I send on twelve or higher. But there's no out. Yeah, but there's nobody out. And like, he, he's ground a, ball. He's got a high fly ball range, though. He does have a really high fly ball range. Um, shit. There's nobody out. Also, I like which it. Makes me, I like makes it. Makes me think that I'm yeah. just gonna, I'm gonna stay for now. All right. I and probably I guess, would. Oh man, that's tough. I probably it's really close, but I probably would have leaned on staying. I think maybe the only thing is that if with uh, Shigano being a sixteen to nineteen fly ball is like, dude, like if I'm looking for that like thirteen fly ball start to like be like, oh, I'm definitely keeping him there. You know what I mean? Right. And I also like I don't know with nobody out. Like now this gets Sato potentially to bat this inning, which like you know against the two control makes that 13 home run a lot more viable yeah that's true so we'll see we'll see how it works out this is what's fun about showdown we get instant results of our decision <laughs> yep we're gonna find out right now right oh yeah let me put the batter up the other thing too is like this guy has a really low single range so i'm like if he does get the advantage i'm probably yeah. getting the run in all right here we go let's find out Oh my god. Oh, that three was lurking. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god. All right. Well, but you could send him on the ground ball. I don't know what I don't know what my infield is. Your infield is a five. It's a five? Yeah. So it'd be 13 or higher now. It's only one difference. Yeah, oh, he gosh. technically he hasn't he hasn't gotten through. Oh, that's yet. that's true. Um, um <laughs> it's up it. to let's, you, let's do it. Let's do it. I'll go home. I'll go home. <laughs> Um, so do you, you might as well send the, the guy at third too, you know, that's, um, that's second. True. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, I'm not, I mean, I don't, what's his speed. Yeah. I'm not going to go for him. Um, even with, I think it's negative one, um, or negative five. What is it? What, what does that become? So ground ball is no advantage for anybody, I think. Right. Yeah. 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 So, um, I got to, I got so on five. I got to roll 13 higher. I got to go home. I got to play to win. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, I can't. <laughs> like, all so right. this choice and he gets an RBI for that. Damn. All right. He's hustling down the line. I know this is, this could happen again, though. That's what I'm kind of worried about. Um, no, I'll just hit a three run homer. Okay. Don't, don't right. worry. <laughs> Oh damn! Yeah, same shit again. Here we go. Well, no, but now uh, there's a double play opportunity. But he's just twenty-one. Yeah, but you could score. I feel like I have to try to go home. Yeah. Because that way, if you even if you get him out, that means I have two on and one out. So yeah, I'll yeah, go gonna, home. So then it's a twelve or higher at home. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna try to save the run. I don't know if that's a. I don't think that's the right call, but god damn. Um. <laughs> you know what my me having bad 
infield defense is haunting me, right? It's like, it's, it's like, what are the odds of having two fielders' choice RBIs in a row? Like, they, that's odd. Like, the, the, the fans are just, like, in, like, awe of how bad the infield <laughs> is, you know? Uh, here we go. And he's going to get it. Oh, my oh. God. I'm about to, I was about to flip the fucking table. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Pop right. up, right? Pop up. That one, that would have been a knockout punch, potentially. That would have, on that guy's chart. Yeah. Right. Um, it's another grounder. I think that, did I get a, I got, uh, oh, I, I, it's, um, oh, I think I, um, I think I got off here. One sec. I, uh, I realized I preemptively filled in uh, Shiomo or uh, Shiomi. He was the one who had the fielder's choice. Okay, here we go. So then, now I'm good. What's so this was speed? a grounder. So do you, um, I'm a, do you want to take, you want to go for the two or do you want to take the auto out there? I'm going to go for the, I'm going to go for the double. Yeah. It's okay. even though it's very unlikely 16 or higher or whatever. No, but I get oh, that. That's, that's, there you go. So there we go. <laughs> that was one of those innings that could have been way, that you could have given up like one run or you could have given up like six. That was actually you could you could have given up zero without that twenty double potentially. Yeah, that was that was the killer. It was like getting like getting those first two guys on and then him immediately hitting in a run was like can't 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 do that, you know. Yeah. All right. Top second. Here we go. I gotta I gotta bash Verhagen in here. Come on. Dude, oh. what a, I too many O chart outs for this for this Sunday, you know. <laughs> too many. <laughs> Way too many. I've experienced like Four per game. Oh, oh nice. and then do stop doing that. <laughs> I don't want nineteens on the pitcher charts. I do, but like I would trade them not for that. Um, right. You know, life is it's all about timing. That's gonna be. Oh, and you're, you're gonna keep the ground ball. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not a great though. percentage though. Safe. Did he? He got it. Yeah. Yeah. And God, 21 nice. versus my eight. It's tough know. though because you don't really want to lead off with no, Takamatsu it sucks. next inning. Right. No, I'm not going to do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, you know what? He turned over the lineup even if Shudo gets out here. No, that's right? true. That's true. That's a good point. Um, I should just sack on the end of the inning. Um, <laughs> strike strikeout. Yeah. yeah, he's one to seven. You know, I do think there's there is an understated value in just turning the the lineup over. You know. Oh, for sure, dude. Um, I did that with some. I just you know again, I've learned more about baseball over the past handful of years. You know, with the help of Showdown, funny enough. Um, that's like one of those things that like, I think like just people saying it out loud, I was like, that doesn't make like, what? Like, no, you're, you want to, you want to just get on base. Like you want to do that. And then I like now playing through this game, I'm like, I get it. You know, <laughs> like, especially when you're like heading into innings that matter, like bottom nine situations, like, dude, you don't want, you don't want, <laughs> you know, you don't, maybe you don't try to steal with them because you'd rather actually get through to them to get to your number one. It makes right. sense to me now. So Oh yes, we go. Oh Ooh. no. Oh he's man. got a he's got a good oh. chart. Uh yeah, three to fifteen single. There we go. Yeah. Lot of lot of twos and threes. Not even a lot of ones, just a lot of twos and threes. Right. Which, even back like, to last oh, game. Yeah. In aggregate just feels like just as bad. Pop up. Oh, oh my that gosh. Matters. That matters. Oh my God. Dinger. Oh my God. That was the same role that was last time. It was in rent from that 10 to 8 against Murakami. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh my God. <laughs> this is going so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh geez, dude. What a what a what a bum. I'm I'm I'm, I'm maybe I need to state it now. I'm maybe I'm feeling too emotional, but 
I'm I'm done with control twos. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is too much, man. I can't I can't do this. Like these guys are. I mean, I was gonna take the risk on this no matter what because this card is too much fun to not try out. But uh, yeah, I just I am. I am just, oh my God. Oh my God. Um, Yanagita again. No, that, holy shit. He's out. He's fucking out. Oh, the perfect pitch. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, good, good call out. I wasn't paying attention. Well, I was like 19. What is that? Is that a walk? I'm like, no, it's an out. That's, That's amazing. Whew, okay. Well, you know, you, you take them where you can get them. That was a fun right. little win. <laughs> Why is Verhagen beating me right now? <laughs> <laughs> God damn, get on base. The dark, you know, this is the light. Ooh, there we go. Mm. That's actually a grounder. Yeah. Say, ooh, I think it's almost an error. No. <clears throat> Ooh. Right. Got some cooking with two outs. Nope. No. Okay. Wow, we played a lot of baseball, it feels like, to be in bottom three, but here we are. <laughs> I think right. there's a lot of action with all of those decisions. Yeah, these these yeah. control twos, man. Oh, uh, game over, seven. <laughs> <laughs> Call it. <laughs> we need to go to review. Like, was that a strikeout or a pop-up? We need a review camera for this. <laughs> yeah, get off that 20. Get this shit out of here. I really want to hit a home run right here. Ah, oh, damn. Um, Austin Hedges, uh, he is a on base five. He's, he's on base the four. No, he's on base four. four. He's an on base yeah. four. You're right. But he, he is an on base four. He's an, a catcher on plus nine. So that's why he's like, I think he's 10 points. No, he might. Is he 10 points? He might be 10 points. Um, he got the mistake pitch, of course, with a control two. So he got it. And so that becomes, he is an 11 to 20 home run range. So then mistake pitch, he became an 11 to 24 home run range. Gosh. He rolls the die. He rolled a fucking 11 to get a home run. I was like, you've got, I mean, dude, whatever. Like, just, <laughs> I guess the low range 11 home run is like kind of an amazing thing to see, but like, right. just maybe not against me, you know? Um, oh man, it was really, it was really funny though. There we go. What can, what, what can we do here? Let's see it. All right. Let's stay there. Single. All right. Single. I figured it was going to be a single. The odds were good for that. Has there been, I'm trying to make sure I haven't missed any mistake pitches. Have you gotten any mistake pitches? I don't think you. No, not on my yeah. offense. I've gotten two already, both just for singles, though. Um, all right, here we go. It's on you again. Uh, on me. Single plus. Right. Okay, interesting. I don't so, know. My, um, my outfield is only a two if you feel like gambling to get him a third. I'm going to gamble. 12 or higher. Okay. Yeah. What is that? Oh, man. I think that's a six. Six. Yeah, it's a six. Yep. So he gets a. Now you get the free then, steal, too. That's yeah, pretty I big. I, should, I really I did thought it was an 18 there. I was like, damn. I, I did that in the last game. It was almost the same odds. And I just figured, sure, he'll be out at third. You know, like it's that's yeah, awesome. it's kind of a it's it, but I mean but either way you it. have a runner on second. Exactly. Either yeah. way you have a runner on second. I, and like not discounting the runner on first, but like you remove the double play opportunity, you know. I just think that for what we're talking about, like that's worth that's worth the the the, the chance there. All right, this is some interesting at bats here. This ma this matters, I think. Oh yeah. Ten. Okay. Rounder. And your what is and your my infield? My infield's an eight, so not great odds for you. No, can't do it.
Oh, you dick. Anything but those. Ooh. Unreal. Got out of it. Wow. That's that's the story of Verhagen's season so far for me. Is his ERA is really good, and he's had a lot of those innings where I'm like, "Oh fuck, it could go, it could blow up," but then he gets it, out of it. Right. It'd be interesting if we start. It's kind of annoying, but left on base would be a really interesting one for us to start keeping track. Oh, of. I I would love that. But yeah, it that's would, a lot of extra work. That's a, that's a lot of it. It's like a lot more work than it than it appears. You know. You know what? The one that I would love is inherited runners for bullpen arms. Is which one? Inherited runners. So, like, if a if a reliever comes in with two oh, guys yeah. on, yeah. does he get out of that, or does he let one of them score, both of them score? That it's would be like less a, work, but still annoying. Kind of a yeah, it's still like a pretty manual, kind of a, almost like a clutch factor type of thing, you know? Yeah, and that's I. It's it would be really fluky, and that's part of the reason why it would interest me. Like, how fluky is that stat for showdown? All right, we are now top five. This would be his last inning at full strength if he gets through it. With no runs, man. I'm trying to will that into existence. Again, this is his this has been his season. Like a lot of traffic, but he's gotten out of it for the most part. Come on. Wow, Jesus. A lot of sixteens. Strikeout. Oh, oh man! All right, <laughs> doesn't matter. That's uh, the twenty twenty man. Strikes out. All right, he he did his nice job. Thing, he gave me five. The nice thing about recording this game is that if I mess anything up stats wise, we can always just rewatch it. That's true, yeah. <laughs> you know. All right. Um, he is. So this is his last inning, right? Yeah, it'd be his last full strength. Um, God damn, he's five ten, and I want to pull him, but it's five nothing. I'm gonna just keep him. We're just rolling. I'm not even giving it's, me the. I'd I'm, say I'm, I'm, any trouble probably you don't know how to pull him, right? Yeah, but like then at that point I might as well pull him now, you know. Yeah. I didn't put, but like here's the thing, I didn't do any damage to Verhagen, like so it's like the game kind of not saying it's over, but like the game feels a little a bit over, you know. Like it's, I it's needed become tougher. Yeah. Right, and like I don't really, I could probably do like just one inning with guys just to kind of um like you know kind of mitigate the time. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. Um, I'm gonna go him at full. I, I I can't be weary of my five ten starter. I I I was okay with that chart. Man, there's got to be some uh with this win. There's got to be some shit going on outside. It seems like so. Um, all right, here we go. And by that I mean that yeah, good start. Oh, walk. <laughs> that twenty was lurking. I'm almost tempted to pull him now to get my. Defense and speed up. That's too early, though. I would I would lose Ooh, in a bat. That's too interesting. Early. If, yeah, you, if it was yeah. the seventh, I'd do it. Six. Yeah, totally maybe. agree. Fifth too early. Grounder. Yep. Is he, is he He's fast? out. No. Oh man, that's error. a. Is that an error? Because I'm a. Am I five or four? You're a five. I thought the oh, who's I, the infield? It's oh, it's 10, so right? it, infield is below ten. I should like reconsider throwing people, um, of throwing at first. Like it's more chances for me to get an error than sometimes than than not. Um, I, so think I think ten's a little. I think that should be lowered to like maybe eight. I don't know though. Yeah. It's like in you in the 2021 MLB league, the lowest infield is an eight, and I don't think people tried for that. It's just there's so much defense. Yeah. This you're right. In this one, it might like I didn't attempt. I was not even looking at infield defense, and you can tell I did that here because I have a four. Well, do whatever. you want to? I mean, it's fine. Do you want to say that you don't? want No, to because no, I threw there because like it would have been what it was still a uh, it was still thirteen or higher to get him. I just happened to have like three or four rolls that could have been an error, so it's still a good chance to do it. Yeah, I think it was the right call to go for it, especially with 
potentially right. you know, the big hairs it's, coming up. Right. Um, okay, here we go. God damn, Shigano, man. I'm, I'm, this is this is tough. <laughs> this um, is tough. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. go. Hitting hitting the B while I uh, do we lose him? Where'd he go? I think he's oh, over I, here. I see him. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Um, double IBI. Man, man now, now he's, has been killing you. This is a uh, yeah. This is second double for that's. And he loses the control um, now. This makes me sad because, like, if this guy, I know this is one game, I'm not trying to overblow this, but if, like, this card can't, like, has this happen in this game, like, I, I can't, this says control twos don't work. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, I, I know that you can't throw the baby out with the bathwater because Norimoto's been really, really good for you. And he's in some ways worse. I, I think that 20 on his chart makes a Bigger difference for a lower control guy. I don't know. It's tough to say. Yeah. Um, so he he gets hit down to a one now. Um, I am going to just just mitigate this game at this point. I hate to say it. Um, okay, I'm going to pull him. So he he went he went five and he went one he went third. five and one one third. Yeah. yeah. Damn, it's a really bad outing. I, I mean, obviously tough luck. And, and like those those fielders' choices really, they could have changed so much of this game. I feel like yeah. he could very easily be sitting at like six and two earned runs. Instead, it's five and a third and six, possibly seven on second base. Yeah. Um, okay, sure. Can I say one of my favorite looking cards, like the jersey with like the scroll work oh, on looks, the sleeves? It looks so good, man. Yeah. That one oh, so Ty, Ty Show is the only one that pitched last, or did, nobody pitched last game. Everybody's great. Yeah, your bullpen is totally week. fresh. Ty Show, Tama, is it Tama? T A M I? Or Tamai? Yeah. Yeah, usually what I do is I just pop over to the reliever tiring tab and just copy and paste it. So that's I make good, sure that's I don't. a good idea. Yeah. Um, yeah, because there's okay. a there's a few names that are tough. <laughs> a little bit, just a little bit, just mo maybe because we're not used to it, you know. Yeah, um, sure. Yeah. All right. Um, here we go. Five ball. Two outs. On you. Gets out of it. Remember those twelve Closes. before. Yeah. Closes the book on Sugano. Oh, wait, not pitching it. Oh, I'm tempted to against the bottom of your order. Dude, tempted. it's six not it's six nothing. Like I would put him out at the one, you know? Yeah, I don't know. My bullpen being where it's at right now, like I feel okay getting getting so he four went, innings out of him. He went five full, you know. I mean, it sucked because he didn't go very deep, but a pretty healthy uh Pretty healthy, um, Kasatomo, a pretty healthy uh, game score. Yeah, it's just also one of those things like he got, lets one of your bottom three guys on. Now I'm back against the top of the order and things snowball quickly from there. Yeah. All right, here we go. What are we looking at here? Control four out through 18. I think I'm going to have any chance here. Oh. All right, so he's good for one out, I think. Yeah, he came in with one out, so he's got two two outs on his thing. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. All right, well, Shaggy. Oh, oh man. Dude. It's happening. All right, this is the, him again. Let's see his triple or his out. <laughs> single this time. Isn't single. That's no good though. All right. So, so what's it? Is he is he he's fast? A, he's he's twenty sixteen. So I'll send him so, home. There you got it. Close, but let's see. Yeah. It. No nice. now, he, now he's down at yeah, steel. 
Right. So he's down to a, I think now to a, a four. And then I'm gonna pull him with the next out anyway. So just keep going. Single. Yikes. I'm gonna send him. I think does he auto score? No, you could get uh, me with a 19 or a 20. Don't. There we go. One of these games, man, it just feels like it's just not you can't do any you can't do much, right? Um, yeah. God, and like the tough part, I know I'm not that guy, but like all I want to do is just like blow up like to Mai's arm or something or like go to like I'm just gonna go to these chumps, you know. Um to just you know, yeah, it's also like you don't want to see your freaking your runs, your run differential just turn to shit. <laughs> That's yeah, me, yeah. where I'm like, oh god. But I I mean uh, this is where like I think a guy like Maury is really valuable because like, yeah, he can give up a home run, big deal, but like give me an inning or two. Yeah, yeah, he's I'm about to throw him for a lot. Grounder? No. Nope. Just, just a fly ball. Yeah, he's got such a low range. All right, so now I'm going to pull him. So he's done. One inning. Not good. Yeah, I'm going to go. Um, just, yeah, you're right. Spelling these is a thing. Right. Yeah. Tomorrow. All right, here we go. Of course. Oh. Single. There's only one out this inning. Yeah, only one out. Grounder, maybe? Fly ball. No, fly ball. Not to. Hey, can't give no up home, a dinger. No, no home run. There we go. That's the the perfect pitch with the home run pitcher is like that's oh just, that is it's cool. <laughs> beautiful beauty actual beauty. No, so he's a three control. Strikeout. Ooh, fly ball. Oh man. Uh, barely on me. Oh. Been a pretty uneventful game for me. Yeah, you've you've been just kind of that. You've I feel like you've had a lot of runners on base, but timing of your rolls yeah, isn't that bad. Right, right. Walk. Do I have a steal left? I'm up eight runs. I'm not gonna steal. I don't want to get a bean ball. I would have said play to win, but yeah, I appreciate it. Um, switch to this strikeout. You know, he he wants that he, he wants to steal in his uh, you know his contract negotiation. He, that that I, helps I, his stats. You know, god damn. I generally eight. don't. The only thing is, like with guys who give up home runs too, I generally try not to give up any outs. That's a great. That's a great call. Because like oh now, god. yeah. Jeez. I don't, I don't know what to do here. Like, I'm assuming he scores. Yeah, he's a 26 going home. So, all right. So, he is down to a. So, um, he still has not. All right. So, technically, he's pitching above right now. So, he hit his full inning already. Um, yeah, I'm just going to. I almost just feel like I'm just going to keep going. I think you mean so, you're facing my two words here. So, yeah. The only thing is that, like, I if I don't pitch him another if i don't keep going right now i could pull him and he's only at one ip and that yeah, way i could true. use him i could use him next game which feels silly but um i guess like it's nice to have push in there if i need it you know yeah um, and that way at least I, I could pitch all these guys one inning this game and then i just know i'll have them next game you know um and it's nice to have a seven ip as your fourth starter too yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do that so i'm gonna he, he went one inning he also had shitty stats, so um, <laughs> probably about to get worse. With I'm I'm way too many, way too many pitcher changes for a game. I am just absolutely going to lose. 
Jeez, <laughs> I'm way too much management here. All right, here we go. Oh my Rad. gosh. Rad. <laughs> Single, Single looks like. Yeah. Uh, oh. yeah, I mean, I might as well send them. Yeah, 21. All right, got to go back and add an earn run on Mori. Yeah, I mean, this is this is clearly one of those games your your roles are just not just not with the Oh my Jesus god. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Excuse my nice. French. <laughs> I just like this is one of those games where I just like I just want it, I just want the game to be over. You right. know, it's like you get to that point where you're just like, I just want it to be over. I, it's like it's not um and like this is like I don't care. This has happened to me before, but like filling in stats like while you're just getting like blasted. Like while you're filling in stats for the other team while you're getting blasted is not fun. <laughs> it's no, just not, it's not fun, especially when you can't <laughs> roll anything high. Like just like oh my god, just like let's get out of it. Like I almost want to pitch my good guys just to get to finish the game. You know, all right, is that uh, grounder at least? Grounder, yeah. yeah. I'm only right. thirteen. Oh my god. I think that's another error, actually. Oh my god, it is. Yeah. Um, oh god. I'm just exhausted on how to even how to even uh, uh, <laughs> I let's I think that would be it that should be enough if you get Murakami who, who out got, be enough. Who got thrown out there? Um, um so Kenta got oh, sorry. Kenta got thrown out. And then in, in Imimana or Imimaya scored. scored. And yeah. he have fielder's choice RBI. Who does that go on? You wouldn't give does him the RBI actually um no nah because that he wouldn't have scored without the air so no rbi there does the run get earned by anybody that sh if murakami gets out that would be there would be no no earned run got it okay so, we'll, we'll so see. then he's still he's still a three yeah so that'd be an unearned run then okay I can't remember who Imimaya. Yeah, that was it would be an unearned run to Masuda. Or what yeah, just unearned in general. Just unearned. Do, do you do the whole unearned like thing to keep track of it for like run diff and all that? Yeah, usually what I do is I just go to the team page and just add the unearned run there. Um okay. manually yeah, might, for that. I already I'm gonna probably use another spot on the sheet to end this game for uh with a good pitcher. So you might need to just remember that one. So God, how are we in top eight right now? <laughs> this game should be over. So, oh man. I, I know at this point, I'm like, do I want to? I mean, he's a two and 18. He can probably get through this inning here. Oh, dude. If he's already over his IP, I would just blow his arm out, you know? <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh no, that's a walk. Okay. Yeah. I, I, five could, walk. I know I was, one of his previous yeah. versions was an eight and five, and I was like, I couldn't remember. That's a walk. Ugh. Strikeout. Three on you. Oh my oh, gosh. There. there we go. It's fine. More outs. It's fine. Believe me. I'm I'm, I'm okay with an O an O shot out at this point. I just want this game to to, to come to a close, <laughs> a very unceremonious close. All right. I'm uh how many how many innings did did has uh Masuda gone? I think he only went two thirds, right? Yeah, because I think he came in for yeah, you got two thirds. So I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna bring in the big guns and just try to get in this game. Um, what are they? Do you think anybody's still listening to this video at this point? <laughs> what's it? No, probably not. Like that's like, yeah. Like just they're just hearing me be exact. Like they're hearing Jeff be exasperated. Um, and just, Greg like, is probably exhausted. Greg is probably still watching. Yeah, like. Right. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> maybe he'll be like, oh, like other people get bad roles. It's not just me, you know? <laughs> um, <laughs> I hope he hears that one. So, uh, <laughs> all right, we're gonna we're gonna shut this down. We're gonna we got two innings left. I I might have to have I you. I mean, you, you only need you only need one. I mean, assuming um, oh, you don't score twelve. Oh, because you're you're home. Yeah, you're home. That's true. Yeah. Um. Then I will actually pitch. I'm gonna go, uh, Kento. You know what? He yeah. needs the confidence booster because he's been really bad so far. Yeah. Oh God! Don't say that. <laughs> like. No, but this is good. Get him in a low pressure situation. Get his confidence back up. We'll see. <laughs> We're gonna find out. So I am not super confident. Um, all right, here we go. Oh my God, you can't make I'm this not, up. I'm not saying a word. <laughs> you can't make this up. Oh, oh my God. Dude, what is going on? Yan- Yanagita has been absolutely murdering you. He has. That's his has, third home run. I think he's got another two doubles. Yeah, he has two doubles and a home run this game. Last game, he had two mistake pitch home runs. I mean, oh he is. He, all right, I'm at a four. Oh my god, just, just, just get, just get out. Like that's these moments in this game where you're like, I just, I don't remember what it's like to get out. I know, right? That's I can only grinder, imagine right? what that feels like. No, oh no, fly ball. fly ball. I can only imagine what that feels like. What did I? What did? What did? Uh, he got a single. What is a single? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I missed that. And then uh, Yanagita was a mistake pitch homer. Okay. All right, here we go. What's his range? Oh, is that a, a pop up? Pop up. Okay. Oh. That was the first normal inning we've had in a long time. So, <laughs> all right, top um, nine. I'm going to go to Ono, oh close it out. All right, all right so. Um, Higuchi went for three. Yep, three runs or three he innings. A, he, had a, he had a really good, really good outing here. And who is this? Fuyuma. Fuya. Oh no. Cool. All right. Let's get this garbage fest over with. Uh, strikeout. Oh man! All right. Wow. That was a That's that, a, was, that a was a slog. tough game. That I mean, really, also the that fact that really tough game. Scoring one run in eighteen innings is not very fun overall. And I didn't use either of my six and seven. I didn't you're, use either of my studs. I I scored one run in both games. You're you're right. Oh my god! I like just got outscored are, eight eighteen to one in two games. Not great. Not great, not great, Bob. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know that, if, if anyone doesn't know that Mad Men reference, that is a, that is what I'm making. It's not great, Bob. <laughs> so, um, all right, so then, um, I mean, Shaguno gets the loss because he gave up six. Yeah, Verhagen takes I, the win. Verhagen gets the win. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and then just a pretty simple last inning. Well, anyway. Who knows if anyone's still listening at this point, but if you are, God bless you. You just, you know, witnessed, um, you know, me getting obliterated, which might honestly be good content to some people. You know, they might, they might, they might enjoy it. They're like, yeah, screw this guy. I want to see him just, you know, he's so, he's so happy about showdown, but he needs to remember that this game is pretty brutal sometimes. So <laughs> and like not particularly fun, but um, it's one of those. Uh, yeah. Gosh. I mean, so your run differential is now negative 18. So that means what? It was like negative one coming into today. Yeah. It's like, and here's the thing. I was trying. It's not like I was throwing negative one control guys out there. No, you I know? mean, you just got hammered on uh, your chart. And I, I mean, I had three mistake pitch home runs by Yanakita. Yeah. It's like, there's six runs right there. And it's just like, what are you going to do? Nothing. 
Yeah, and the, the crazy part too is they weren't even they were all i think 18s right weren't they all 18s Maybe yeah and like thing. it was it wasn't even like a disproportionate amount of mistake pitches because like if yeah. i look I, I i threw two mistake pitches that whole game it wasn't that it was rolling consistent twos and threes mm-hmm. which like were not going on my charts because i was rolling out of control too and and then just yeah and then you just were you know just putting them together with a ton of fielder's choice stuff and all that like it just it just it, it was that was not that was an onslaught like a very unconventional onslaught um right and like it's i mean really when my last three batters get on base that many times it's going to be problematic it's yeah, like for sure they suck and then it's just, it's like free money basically damn well dude good games i this team was a this team is uh, probably substantial, or at least my team is underperforming pretty substantially. I don't feel like this is a good representation of like their actual skill, but um, but that's but that's not what the scoreboard says. So you know, we. I mean, yeah. So even after that bad bad performance from Sagano, his WHIP is still one point zero six. Like he's still doing re- like, and now his OPS against is six fifty eight, which is exactly what it is against Nick Martinez. Yeah, man. Like I, I don't know. The amount of runs he's given up doesn't make sense for how good his peripherals are. It's I'm go, very I'm weird. Page. Yeah, look at the. I mean, look yeah, at I'm your rotations whip. Your ri- rotations whip. All of them are under one point one. I look at Nick Martinez's mistake pitches. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I mean, <laughs> grant granted, he's pitching more innings than sure, everybody else. Sure. So there's a number that there's a way to say, okay, you should have this many mistake pitches per inning or per five innings or whatever, but that doesn't feel, that feels high. Another an interesting, <laughs> so he's given up seven home runs in 31 innings, which is a ton. None of them, no doubles, no triples. So it's like all of the doubles, like if you move set like four of those home runs to doubles, his ERA is so much different. I can't believe that. That's on, right? I mean, look at a, and then uh, Sagano, kind of that's what exactly what you're saying. Only two home runs, but he's given up seven doubles. Yeah, it's like the yeah. They're, they're two. Ex- they're going extremes. They're not. They're not balancing out because balancing out is honestly probably okay. That, that my team can. Those guys and my team can probably be okay with a balanced act there. But like, it's just not. It's just it's raining. You know, it's 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 pouring one way or the other. Um, I mean, and look at how different – it's jarring how different your starter ERA and whip is compared to your bullpen. Look at that. Nine point – your bullpen whip is almost is two. Dude. It doesn't make sense. Look at the ERA. I mean, that is – that's scary. It's double. It's all double. You're, you're, so against your starters, batters are 197. Against your bullpen, they're batting 366. They basically go from <laughs> – from, I'm trying to think of like – they go from scrubs uh, to like all stars. Yeah, they go from the Mendoza line to like Hall of Fame. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Look at that. What? They go from even like, the sla- <laughs> right. They go from the player that like War is like you know is actually play. It's like the replacement in War to like you know just Barry Bond shit. So, I mean, and this yeah, that's just crazy. And like, okay, some of it, yeah, Masuda sucks, but like, okay, whatever. But like, yeah. Fujishima should not be that. That's way above what I mean, it should be. Even, even Mori. Like, Mori should be giving up an occasional home run, but he should not have a two whip. I mean, look at it. Look at Fuj- Fujishima, Kenta. Like, seven, seven, or seven innings pitched, and he's given up four doubles, three home runs. I mean, in that sense, he's averaging one of those per inning he pitches, which is insane. Yeah. insane like seven innings like that could be like a start and like based on the sample size he is had the worst game ever right just like in that looking at it through that lens um but he somehow another, still or he has the two a, losses i was reading well, and he, yeah. so he has 14 hits no walks again you move like half of those hits to walks now his yeah. era probably drops like at least three runs yeah so I, I mean that's the thing is like showdown with these small sample sizes you just get these like weird seasons where you're like how did this happen well all of them have been hits instead of walks 
that's why that's why i like that at least for like our 2021 20, like league and what we did for 20, 2000 that were instead of like a play a set playoffs because like you know if your team is just horrible then it's like and you're out of it then it's like it's really tough to like get motivated to like hop on and you know get tts loaded and you know go through the whole thing and scoring takes a bit like it's real. i get it like i've been there it's really yeah. tough to get that motivation but like now that we're basically everybody makes the playoffs and we've gone nba play in style you know play in tournament style you can be awful but like maybe it all clicks in a moment at the end right. of the season and i think and that's I, okay I, like, you know and i think it's a good balance too because like you can win the play-in game and you're you still have a chance obviously but you're also kind of behind the eight ball in terms of rotation oh, sure. and bullpen so like it feels very balanced yeah in you terms have to of win like, like three straight games as like the lowest seed to do it and again all of that relief retiring carries over but right. it's not impossible right and like and that's i'm thinking like especially if it's just like if we were in person doing that that would be just the most fun format that everyone even if it's like the six versus nine game it's still just fun to watch, right? Even for the bad yeah. teams. So, and that's kind of what the play-in tournament, like I hate in the NBA that like there's more teams make the playoffs and like, you know, there's already too many NBA playoff games. Like I've experienced that firsthand having, you know, worked for a team and, uh, but the play-in tournament, it's so tough because I watch the play-in tournament. I'm like, this rules, <laughs> this is so fun. I'm having a yeah. blast, right? Like, I wish it was more that, like take, make the first round five games and like maybe expand the play in and, or not expand it team wise, but like some format. I would um, almost like, I would almost say like, get rid of the seven and eight seed. Oh wait, is that what it is now? No, it's just the, it's just. Yeah. The, so they, that's what they, yeah. so the, yeah. So basically one through six make the playoffs, right? Traditional, they make the traditional setup bracket playoff seven through 10 are in the play, the play in. So seven, 10 kind of get penalized, right, but right. like, but like, you have to, you have to lose, you have to suck so much. Like the seven has to lose twice, um, right? Like, cause basically seven and eight play each other. The winner is in, right? Mm -hmm. And then the winner of that game or the loser of the seven, eight game plays the winner of the nine, 10, right? And that's kind of what we're doing too, a little bit, right? That like you, like, I think in ours, like so the one through three, uh, one through three make the playoffs. And then I think nine, eight play, it's something like that. And then they, you know, then the winner of that goes on and plays like the seven. I, I got to look back what we did last time, but it's, it's, yeah, you, you're severely penalized as a lower seed. You're, you have a chance to play two games if you're the higher seed, right? So the chances are low. And I think last year it just went exactly how it should have gone that, you know, the seven won the first game and then the eight played the 10 and they won that game, you know? So it just, it ends up being where it is, but it's still just fun to watch. So. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, I'm going to, I'm going to, all right, go ahead. No, I was just going to say Yanagita now is tied for home runs and tied for RBIs. After the uh, let me go, let me go look at this. I mean, I don't know how he wouldn't. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> like, uh, look at you just like casually stacking the top with home runs, given you have the, we have the two extra games, but. Yeah, yeah the oh two extra God. games. I mean, that's the thing is like the home run is pretty spread out otherwise though. Cause like, yeah. Um, yeah, almost every team is on there. Yeah. All right. Well, let's put. Uh, I'm gonna end this recording. Um, yeah, I gotta go see Batman. Oh, dude, enjoy. I my uh, uh my wife's out of town. We we're gonna try to make it. Um, I think we're gonna hold to like maybe next weekend. But uh, I have only heard wonderful things. And yeah, same. I, I I do like that. You know, as as a Marvel fan. And as someone who just thinks DC has just consistently fucked up forever, <laughs> like the, and I think Zack Snyder sucks. Um, yeah. I, and not, it's not a Marvel opinion. I mean, I think his track record as a director and as a writer is really, really bad. Right. So this is just like from a, like a critical film perspective and not just like, I like Marvel only, like it's not bad. Um, but man, Matt Reeves rules the second to, uh, the Planet of the Apes, the new trilogy, the one with Andy Serkis, the second two movies of that were Matt Reeves, and those movies rock, like actually rock. And that's the last one, I think it's War of the Planet of the Apes, is a devastating movie. Um, where honestly, I would make the argument that Andy Serkis should have been nominated for an Oscar 
but I won't go there. Uh, but Matt Reeves, <laughs> Matt Reeves doing like Batman. I'm like, oh, God, that's kind of, I like Matt Reeves. That makes sense. And then, you know, Pattinson, who's only done Art House for 10 straight years, just says, you know what? I'm going to go play Batman. And it's like, wait, what? <laughs> A really confusing move. But I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Let's, I'm, so, ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to I watch saw- it. I saw, I saw, I've had a, like a beard, facial hair for like years and years. And then I saw The Lighthouse and I was like, damn, Pattinson oh. makes the mustache look really fucking good. So I, oh. and now I've had a mustache ever since I've seen that movie. <laughs> oh, dude. I don't know how, I, I cannot explain how happy what you just said there makes me because <laughs> I love The Lighthouse. I, yeah, it was really good. I love that's that's a that's Robert Eggers, um, I the director I I like the new horror movie guys like Robert Eggers and Ari Aster are the greatest, um, and I saw Lighthouse with my friend we were we were having a blast. It's just the like in, I love A twenty four as a as a as a uh, production studio. Um, my buddy's never going to hear this, so I'm going to say this here, and hopefully he doesn't find out. But I did, uh, A24 has a lot of amazing merch, like, uh, for their movies. Like, it's actually something that excelled at, pretty weirdly enough. I got my buddy for his birthday. Um, there is a Lighthouse Beard Oil Kit. So <laughs> it's, like, branded to, like, you know, I almost want to bring it up because it's, it's, <laughs> it's great. You got to look it's it up. Amazing. I, it's, it was like way too much, but I was like, this is the most home run joke present, but not joke because you can use it. Like it comes with like a, a moisturizer oil and like, you know, and it says like for ye out at the sea and the salts of the oil. I'm like, dude, I love the lighthouse. That director is coming out with, um, do you, have you heard about the Northman? Yeah. With uh, Skarsgård. Yeah. Skarsgård. Ethan Hawke, Kidman, York. It's a lot. But it's like they just gave Robert Eggers a lot of money and said, make a Viking epic. And he's like, okay. I'm like, I can't. I'm, that's honestly probably the most anticipated movie of this year, like without question yeah. for me. Uh, yeah. I can't wait. I, although, Nicole Kidman, I, how is she going to be co- convincing as a, like, her face has said so much plastic surgery. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm yeah, that's a great, that's a, as like a, as yeah, like a Northern Europe, like Viking wife. You From know? like a, 500 years ago. It's like, really? Right, that's not what right. people look like, but okay. <laughs> that's a great point. Like yeah. she plays, she's perfect in Big Little Lies as she plays like a rich white woman from Orange County. Like, yep, yes, that's what she looks like. <laughs> anyway. She, yeah, we'll see. I do, but Pattinson, Matt Reeves. I mean, Andy Serkis as freaking Alfred, you know, like, let's go. Like, it's just so many things that I was like, God, this, I didn't want another Batman. I think this is dumb, but like, this might be the best way to do it. So, you know, my, I, yeah, I mean, I, I'm expecting to like it a lot. It's only for good things. My, my kind of, my only hesitations are the length. Although most, what I've been hearing is like, yeah, it's long, but it doesn't feel long. Um, and then three villains is kind of odd. But I guess Catwoman oh, well. is also kind of like, qua- you know, yeah, she, she's villain. Great area, yeah, she's like gray area villain. So I think like, I'm, I don't know, like, it's very likely one of those villains could be like in the movie for not long. Like that's, I, I'm just kind of guessing at three hour length, I, could, I feel like the, you could see it, uh, you know, you can do it. Like you don't have to like have villains kind of on top of each other at the same time in the movie. I think they could spread it out. So I, it's going to be interesting to see how they, how they balance it from kind of front to back. It um, seems like maybe Penguin is kind of like, you know, you're not going like, to, an overarching like villain maybe throughout the, their planned trilogy. Cause like, you know, he's kind of like the organized crime boss. He's not really going right. away. Right, exactly. He's like the King thing type. Also Colin Farrell, the man. Colin Farrell has like the patent, like Pattinson has done art house for like the past like five to eight years, you know? And like, Dude. They're apparently giving him an HBO Max show or something. What based uh, on based on the penguin? Oh, oh, the penguin. Yeah, you're right. So we know that there's, he's probably going to come out of this in some way. But um, he's apparently a movie. He, there's another movie that came out this weekend with Colin Farrell leading called After Yang, that I've also heard is one of the best movies of the year so far. I mean, it's early, but um, 
<laughs> good for him, man. You know, yeah. um, I I watched uh, I loved the Lobster. That was a weird movie, but it, I loved him in it. And there's another one called The Killing of the Sacred Deer that I have not seen, but I have only heard great things about. That's him. In so the I movie. I'm familiar with Killing of the Sacred Deer. It sounds too like too dour or too dark for me <laughs> pretty out there yeah same direct i know it's the same director so it's same director who did um oh my god it's uh the favorite did the lobster but like killing the sacred deer is like really not just leaning into weirdness but leaning into like grim dark weirdness yeah you know i, like I, I like the first half of the lobster i kind of thought the second half lost me yeah it's it, it's just like his he gets he has a style that he just it's kind of just like weirdly like kind of indulgent on the weirdness and if you don't like it like too bad it's kind of that vibe yeah um, i thought the favorite was like a great balance that like you can have a weird you can have a weird movie with a weird script and like people acting weird but like it can still be funny and kind of fun and like that being in kind of what it was like you know 1800s england like or whatever 18th century it, it just made it like that era is weird. So like people acting weird is normal. So it's a, that worked, <laughs> but the lobster was like definitely more in like, this is a weird movie. Like, like it's not gonna, you're gonna squint your eyes and kind of question some of it, but that's the point. So anyway, now I just want to go watch Killing the Sacred Deer. Now I'm talking to it. So. I've been well, talking about forever. You got the I rest want. of the day? I, I know I do. I need to go, wife is driving home from DC. I need to go probably grocery shop and be a good husband. Um, but maybe I have time to watch something before she gets home. So <laughs> I'm still, I'm still trying to catch up on Oscar movies. So, but, uh, she and Batman tonight, uh, in two hours, exactly. Two hours. Exactly. Well, let me know how it is. I will. I will. Well, let's, uh, I guess for this, everybody, you know, got in a little extra movie chat. Um, let us know what you think of our movie taste. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to stop recording. Thanks y'all for listening. And